Hey guys, it's Brie. Um, it is Thursday the 10th, which means it is time for Booktube SFF Babbles. Um, this is a, a discussion series, I guess you could call it, that is associated with the Booktube SFF Awards. The prompts are all on their Goodreads page, which I'll link down below. Um, <laughs> this week's prompt is to shout out a couple of fantasy books that are, you think, perhaps underrated or deserve more attention. So I have a couple. Um, the first one that I want to mention is uh, Joe Walton's My Real Children. This is a fantastic book. I don't have a copy because I took mine out from the library, but it is about a woman whose life um, could have gone two different ways. And as she becomes older and she kind of, she has, she's starting to have dementia, um, those two realities of her life start coming together. And so she's remembering both of them at once. It's beautiful absolutely beautiful. Um, it, in fact, I think it might be my favorite Joe Walton book. Um, we the Drowned by Karsten Jensen. This gets some play in more of the literary fiction community, um, but not a ton, I think, in fantasy. This is about a man who, he's a sailor from Denmark, but right, bef right on the verge of when sailing um, and shipping kind of are, are becoming mechanized. And and this is about a man who is a sailor in Denmark. He goes away and comes back and all of this kind of, these tall tales that are surrounding his life, um, these kind of weird, mysterious happenstances that, that follow him around. It's much more on the side of magical realism. I quite liked it. It's a bit chunky, um, but it is, I think, very good. The next one is one that I love, 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 love. Um, this is The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. It's about 90 pages, but it makes fun of kind of some of the Jane Eyre-ish lady goes off to be a governess for someone she's never met and falls in love with the man of the house kind of stories. Um, it has creepy occult children and ghosts and like possession it's really good. <laughs> it's about 90 pages long and it's worth every minute. I have Kazuki Sakuraba's uh, Red Girls. This is about a family in Japan <laughs> and there's kind of a curse that follows their family. The matriarch of the family can see the future and there are ghosts and all sorts of kind of crazy stuff goes on, um, but it's a, it's another multi-generational story, so like We the Drowned, it's multi-generational. It follows more than one woman in this family, and in fact it follows the line of women in the family. The last one I don't have a physical copy of, um, it's Sister Mine by Mabel Hopkinson, and it's about two girls who were born as conjoined twins. They are the daughters of basically a god, um, and when the twins were split at just after birth, um, one of the, the girls was left with all of the godly powers and the other is, is left normal. Uh, so there you go. Those are the books that I have for Booktube SFF Babbles the second week. Um, please link me to your videos down below. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you like them, with what you wish that more people were reading. Um, <laughs> I'm always happy for my TBR to grow. You know that. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. I'll talk to you later.